So let me scroll all the way back until I get before I divided. There we go. And there. So we've got that original sculpt. I am not going to use the standard brush, but I'm going to switch over to clay buildup. I'm going to divide. And let's just go back up. 1.5 million. The clay buildup is so great at creating form regardless of what's happening, regardless of what your topology is doing, that you know my concerns are just a lot less. Now this is not my preferred way of sculpting eyes, but it demos that I have more control with the clay buildup, even if these strokes look crazy, I still technically have more control. And I'm able to get that a lot faster because I can press Alt and push in. I don't have to rely on smooth. I press Alt and now I'm going to really start to define that frontal process the Megzilla. I press Alt, I let go of Alt, start to cut, change my path, boom, 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 build that back up. It's like this beautiful knife and sculpting tool all at once. I can get a decent edge in there and then I can round that edge out and throw a little bit at the bottom of it. But it's very loose. You see how the approach is different. I got a better result faster and there's more structure in this, in, in what I've ended up doing. There's a lot more structure and I did all of that at 1.5 million polygons without ever going down in my subdivision level. So it's really important for me to bring that up right now because I personally think that we have now shifted. The standard brush is a great approach and the using your and using your subdivision levels is still really important but we have artists like uh, uh, Cesar Zambelli. He, uh, he uses the high resolution and sculpts almost entirely there using the clay brush, nothing else. So what would be a problem with this? Anybody see problems with sculpting like this? Things that we need to solve, tools or features that we need to look at? Yeah, Michael's got it. Fine detail. Kathleen, a different kind of smooth. You lose control over complicated forms. Yeah, problems with the underlining texture. Uh, issues with major shape change. You know, this is still really crazy, right? I mean, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. What's going on? And da, 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 da. And it's still structural as heck up there. I mean, I've got a million things going on on this guy. Well, let me show you the smooth approach that I use at this level. First thing, this kind of stuff, I just need to press Alt. And start to round that out start to just be really clear. I'm going to put in my anatomical notes. I'm just going to work on this part of the face. You can do what sculptors do. You start to, uh, clay sculptors, you can start to make your strokes move in the, uh, in the pattern of wrinkles. 
Okay, I'm going to go real fast doing that though. This is this is really Okay. So we're just getting a little bit of this form intact. And then let me go into brush and take a look at my screen real quick. I'm going to adjust depth. I'm going to set this embed to zero. I'm setting it to zero. It was at 20. The default behavior was 20. Now, I'll press Alt, and you might notice that it's actually starting to do what that planar brush was doing. Remember I showed you the planar brush a bit ago? See how it's working? Then let go of Alt, and it'll actually start to build some of that form up. And now suddenly we start to not have all that crazy topology, all that crazy bump and just nuttiness of the form. Things start to be a little bit more refined. We can even pick planes that we really want to emphasize. Want to really flatten the stuff happening underneath his eye there. And there you go. Another form of smooth. So it's a whole new paradigm <laughs> is what we're really talking about, which is really cool because now it's a lot more like natural sculpting. It's a lot, it's a lot cleaner. And if you... Um, if you haven't noticed, I still have not used a lot of features. I mean, look at that brush palette. Morph, move elastic, uh, there's an insert dragon thing, uh, Damien standard brush, displace, flatten, pin, snake hook. I have not changed my brush. I've used clay buildup to do everything on this guy for the most part uh, along with move and smooth so three brushes move clay build up and smooth let me check the questions uh, zero embed normalizes the strokes so to speak uh, zero embed, what, re what it really does is it just says, don't push out and don't push in. So if I set this back to 20 and I make a stroke, there's, you can see this depth, this ridge, that's 20. That's what 20 does. Now, let me set this to 100. That's what 100 does, much more. So what depth is saying is, OK, so we know where the surface is. And now we're going to take that sphere of influence and everything in it, and we're going to move it up to 100 so that it's the bottom of that sphere of influence is touching that. And you can see it. The bottom of that severe influence is just barely touching it. So when you set it to zero, what you're really doing is saying, 
don't lift, just do your thing. And the thing that it does is if it detects a, a, a crazy surface like this, the algorithm that Claybrush does is it will start to normalize everything within its stroke. So that everything starts to get averaged in some capacity. It could be that if that white stroke, da 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 da, it'll pull everything up, up, up to the high points. That's if you've got Z add on. Or it'll pull everything down to the low points if you've got Z sub on. And that Z sub is what is the first thing you do, and that's the really important one because the algorithm uh, really shows its beauty. In that case, it's like sanding; it's like taking um, a rubber uh, pallet across the surface of clay. You just shave off all the stuff that's on top, 